defensively you were looking to do, especially coming into this matchup? Uh, well, we knew um, Wisconsin was going to try and do a lot of post isos, and that Bronson Koenig was a really good three three point shooter. And I think just taking them out of their offense, making them uncomfortable, was a huge part of our game. Uh, they're a real system team, and when you take you know one of the things away, it really disrupts their offense. As far as just this entire season, you guys have seemed to be very ready for opponents. Um, how much of that do you think speaks to your game plan, and just the ability of coach, and you know that, that team to, to establish your guys? Um, I just think, uh, you know, get time and time again, you know, we were faced with adversity and, you know, we always, you know, seem to come through. Uh, we lost two in a row earlier in the Big Ten and, we, you know, we had to play desperate. We had to play like our lives depending on it. This is no different with this game. We lost two in a row. We lost one in Illinois. And whoever we played, whether it be Wisconsin, Rutgers, whoever, we had to play, you know, and play as hard as we could. Uh, so early, early in the season, you guys had a couple big games that you uh, kind of lost in the last few minutes. Um, so you guys are up, going coming out of the under four timeout uh, second half. Were there any doubts in your mind? No, no. We we obviously have been here before. We played Butler. They hit a you know buzz beat on us. We played Notre Dame, and we, you know we've been in this moment before. And I think now you know now especially that we're more experienced and we're a lot more confident. You know this is just another game. We're playing. We know we had to play desperate. We had to win this game. So I think we're coming down the stretch, we knew what plays we had to make. Uh, this one's for both of you. Yeah. Uh, what does this win? How do you feel? Like, what do you feel this win means for your season? Oh, I'm elated. It's just fantastic. Win means everything. It means I hopefully we're going to the tournament. That's what it means to me. It's her birthday, so I'm uh, you know oh, say yeah, say all the, all the all the all the the uh, <laughs> the uh, down the road goes, but. For right now, it just means you know we got another great win, and you know we just got to finish off strong. Just in this game, when you have Brian playing at such a high clip, yeah. especially without Scotty. Uh, what does that mean for the rest of the team? We're able to play off this. Game? Yeah, uh, I mean Brian had really going on today. Uh, I struggled a little bit with my shot today, and Brian really picked it up for all of us. And you know, and that's what you have a team for. You know, when when one person struggling, the rest the rest and everybody pick it up. And I think not only his offense but his defense was fantastic. He had seven rebounds, which I think the first time he's ever done that. So you know, I'm just great, happy with everything. Thank you. When three years ago here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was uh, no, that's we t we talked about that. Coach Collins reminded the reminded the guys uh, leading up to this game that you know we've been here before, and you know one at Cole Center. And uh, that is possible. You know, not a lot of teams do it, but you know, we banded together and uh, you know, came here and got the W. What was different about today than maybe specifically like the feeling after the game and, or and towards the end of it? What was different about today? Than no, it was it was just great to you know get back in the winning column. Uh, we lost two games in a row. We knew we needed this game. Uh, you know, we we knew it was winnable, and we put everything into it. And uh, it was, you know, it's great to you know come out with the W at, at a place like this. What was going through your head as you sort of raced down the court all alone? In this, in this final uh, you know, I was excited. I mean, um, seeing you my last year playing here, uh, I just got caught up in the moment. And um, I was, uh, you know, looking back, I probably shouldn't have done that. But, you know, I got caught up in the moment. And it, it happened. I would have done What was so key defensively? I know, especially at, like, I think half scored, like, seven points in the first several minutes yep. or whatever. Um, and you guys really held him in check after that. What was so... Bigger, and I know you were often the guy doubling right. uh, when Derek was guarding you. What, yeah. What's so key to um, You know, obviously me and Derek were both doubling the whole night. And but it, the key, the key I feel is obviously we had to have good double teams and we can't let them out of it. But you know the other three guys, because uh, obviously then at that, that point they you know they have uh, you know an advantage. Those three guys can zone it up for us and give us time to get back to our matchups when they get out of the zone. And uh, you know they really locked it in for us. And, uh, you know, it takes all five guys to play defense like that. What was said in the huddle after they – Wisconsin went on that, like, 10-point run? Just right after that. Yeah, right yeah, after that. What would yep. what, you guys talk about in the huddle? Yeah, you know, coach just told us to keep our poise. That's what we did in the first half when they got a little lead. He said, keep your poise. We still got a three-point lead. And, uh, you know, just you know, just keep doing what we're doing. Obviously, you try not to be intimidated, but you guys are on kind of a losing streak without Scotty still. I mean, what – you guys start off as well as you did, and in that second half they kind of start coming back. Any doubt ever creep into the mind? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, we knew we just had to stay confident. You know, we a big thing I think we did today, we stayed poised. We knew, like, when they went on their run, we knew, okay, we just calmed down, we can get it back in, in distance, and we'd be good. It might seem silly, but this might be the biggest win in program history in terms of where it could take you in the future. I know you guys are trying to think about that too much. Is it hard <laughs> not to think about that? I mean, what a win like this could mean? 
Oh, it's not hard at all. We, we know what we want to do, and we just take it one game at a time. We just one round at a time. We take it there, and uh, we'll be good. Derek, any thoughts on Brian's play today? Brian played great. Just we knew like the scheme that we had on offense, what he can do, and he can get up there and shoot that mid-range jump shot. He did. He performed, and it was great to see it. And as a big man, having a point guard who can attack and dish, uh, what's going through your mind when you, when you just see him get the full gear? Uh, I know it's great because <laughs> when he scores, it opens up for me. So I just got to stay ready. And uh, when he drives, be ready for a, a diss or anything. And he always gets it there for me. Have you seen the replay? They have, they have guys like uh, Nigel Hayes inside. Uh, but you guys really control the paint. Uh, we knew they had uh, good bigs, and we just uh, the scheme we had, we read them a lot. So we just uh, we executed the scheme, and uh, they weren't as effective as they usually are. So that was a good thing that we uh, we did.